One of my spiritual heroes was a guy named Ravi Zacharias. He recently passed away, but the other day I heard one of his final sermons and it was on Daniel in the Bible and I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. My mom named me Daniel after Daniel in the Old Testament because he was a man of God and I've got to tell you it's a big name to live up to but the sermon that Ravi Zecharias preached on Daniel focused in on the fact that when Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came and besieged Jerusalem he picked a team of the brightest and the best of the young Hebrew men and he was training them in his own way he was feeding them from the meat from his table he was feeding them wine and he was trying to soften them up and train them the way they should go. But Daniel always followed God. If you read in Daniel chapter one, verse four, it says that King Nebuchadnezzar picked children in whom was no blemish. They were well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldeans. And Daniel and his friends, he had three friends. They were named Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And Daniel said, let's not defile ourselves with the king's meat. We're, we're better than this. Let's march to the beat of our own drum, which ultimately was God's drum. And in verse eight we read, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. And the prince of the eunuchs eventually gave in to a 10 day test where Daniel and his friends ate only vegetables and water and all the other uh, Hebrew children that were under King Nebuchadnezzar they ate of the king's meat and all of his delicacies. And after 10 days, Daniel and his friends, their countenance was better. Daniel went on to show great faith. He was the only one that could interpret a dream for Nebuchadnezzar of all the wise men in the land. And then he later on showed tremendous courage in the lion's den when a new king who didn't know who Daniel was threw him in there for worshiping his God. But Daniel, purposed in his heart to follow God. Ravi Zacharias said that the three lessons we need to learn from Daniel were that, number one, he drew the line of resistance to control his appetite. And if you can control your appetite, you can control almost anything. But not just the appetite of our stomachs, the appetite of our eye, the things we look at, the things we see, we have to control that. Number two, he drew the line of dependence, not just on knowledge, but to go beyond knowledge into wisdom. He sought God's wisdom. That's what he depended on. And number three, he drew the line of confidence not to be in Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom, but in God's kingdom. You see, God's kingdom is gonna last forever. God's wisdom will carry us through this very difficult time that we're in right now. But we have to draw that line and control our appetite we have to stay true to God. We have to have an appetite for his word, for the things of God. Don't let things that are impure, that are worldly, that uh, are evil, don't let those into your mind. Don't look at them. Control what you watch, what you see, what you read. I hope that encourages you today. Daniel was a man of God, and the name Daniel means God is judge. He will be our judge. I hope this encourages you, and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.